I'm John. I live in Washington State. I reported, voted Republican virtually all of my life because of my anti-communism, my uh, concern about family life, and basic Christian values. But I have to say that I certainly um, didn't like the choice I was offered in 2016. I wanted to vote against Clinton, but we had this, I couldn't believe that. Well, anyway, a lot of people held their nose and voted for Trump anyway, but I certainly, I couldn't. I felt betrayed by Sarah Palin earlier, and then now we have this. So when I think about Trump, honestly, I try not to think about him because I find I get like, I get freaked out because I get so angry, so hurt. I feel so betrayed. On one hand, I can't believe what he's done to us constantly. I feel like we've been under siege as a nation. He's monetized the presidency. He, he brings his conferences to his own properties and makes tons of money from the treasury. He, he doesn't release his records. You know, he promises whatever he can promise to get people to love him. And then he intimidates all of, and all of the sane people into silence. Paul Ryan, all those people just got cowed. They quit, but they kept their mouths shut. He's, a, he's pushed away everyone of conscience from the government. He has only his own lackeys because everyone's afraid of a tweet. Everyone. So he says crazy things like, you know, he just says, he says crazy things. And then the, everybody just quietly shuts up because they don't want to make a stink. So he's done exactly what third world dictators do. You, they use the military to, to silence all of their opponents. And then they just went and they went over the public with crazy claims and promises and everyone and they, nothing was going to stop them. And that's what's happened now with Trump. Nobody will stop him because they all want their job and they all want the agenda and they rationalize that somehow this is good for the country. Meanwhile, he's destroyed trust in every institution. When I was a, a, in Vietnam War, you know, that era, that was a, a, a crisis of faith. Now it's much worse. 